Okay, let's roll into the weekend with a first impressions video for the new Tooth Ears Nova. It's new for me. I bought it retail, so it just got released uh, at the end of October. So I, I got it actually pretty quickly. I, if you're not familiar, give away items to my subscribers who comment below. That's how you qualify. So um, if you're a subscriber and you come upload this video it's because you're interested in the Nova, um, I think it's a good set. And I'll explain why. Let's go ahead and take a look at, let's talk about the specs really quick. It is $149 retail. It is a dynamic driver. It's four balanced armatures. It has an efficiency of 123 and it has an impedance of about 14.8. Comes in a, let me tip this down a little bit. Comes in a box, that's the outer sleeve. You flip it open. You've got a dual flange, uh, silicone at the top. You've got another silicone tip. You've got foams, and then below that you got w clearly wide bore, um, small, medium, and large. And then inside here you have an accessory, and then inside here you would have the buds themselves. The accessory is really pretty much this case right here, and I have to say that I'm actually a fan of this idea. You clip this onto your belt or wherever you want and keep these completely separate from everything else you don't just stick it in your backpack you know stick it in your pocket with your phone or anything that can cause damage this is completely separate and it's easy to clip and attach to your backpack to your um, belt or anything else I think this is a kind of clever idea I like this a lot when I first look at it, I thought this looks kind of uh, it's got a theme to it I'm not sure if I like it but I actually do like it it's pretty cool the cable is blue and black and it looks nice I Plugged it into the ADI 2 DAC and also into the, actually the SP3000, and ran, ran my fingers on the cable and rubbed it on my chest a little bit, and I didn't really have any problems with microphonics. Whenever I see fabric-covered cables, the first thing I think of is this could be a disaster. For this person, I'm very sensitive for that too. I'm not really having that issue. Taking a look at the set, the graph um, that you can find in my squig was done with the tips that you're looking at right here, which are CP100 plus with the yellow core, which is the L size. Um, I didn't use the stock tips because they're dual flans and I never use that. The fit of this is really comfortable and easy. The caps are blue. I've said before to people on this channel that I'm, I'm team blue. The original Crin collab with the dual dynamic driver with the clearly audibly detached subwoofer which is great for stuff that like you're looking at right here um hip-hop other stuff in my library i just loved it because nothing else did that i have a lot of stuff but nothing like that i thought that was absolutely brilliant this is and the red was in my opinion more kind of suited for the masses kind of balanced it out a little bit and became a lot like a lot of other sets out there which is cool but there's Tupac right there. I, I just love what the blue did. And here comes another set, which has got a blue cap. And I'm more solidly on Team Blue than I ever have because I actually like this set. I think it does well. Um, let's talk about music, first impressions. I think this does well with stuff like Metallica. Should I scroll all the way to M? I think that would just kill your eyes, so I won't. M dual guitars, distortion pedals, or very busy passages, this seemed to do well with. There was no masking. Speaking about masking, I can get right to Black Sabbath right here. A track called Sweet Leaf at, let me look up there, 2 minute 30 seconds approximately on the version that I have. The bassist and the drummer are going kind of like soloing at the same time. That is the type of condition where masking can really happen because in the same part of the frequency response, there's two instruments that are putting in a lot of emphasis and a lot of energy. One can kind of cancel the other out. And single dynamic drivers really do show that as being an issue. Planars are much better. Ba balanced armatures as well. Because this has a dedicated low frequency driver and balanced armatures, I'm not really getting a sense of masking. So it does busy passages, like I said, with the guitars. Also, when you've got two low frequency instruments going on at the same time, um, it's doing pretty good with that. It's not playing our level, but it's it's typical hybrid, um, which is an improvement over dynamic drivers. So I think it does that well. Uh, classical music, when I looked at the graph and I graphed it, I'm reminded that graphs will tell us very strongly and clearly if something is dark, precipitous roll off. If something is warm, elevated bass. If something is lean, tucked mid bass. If something is maybe bright, um, 
emphasize treble, shouty, um, forward emphasize upper mids. That's what mm, graphs tell us most. First look at this graph and I thought, that's kind of a lot of low energy. Maybe the, uh, some classical parts, some passages are going to seem a little bit too mm, warm, emphasized, mm, blooming, because um, it impacts the harmonics, the overtones as well. Not the case actually, it played classical music quite well, to my surprise. That was probably the biggest surprise. I think this does okay with substantial low-end drops like Big Boy Kill Jill um, and things like that. Really, really heavy drops. Uh, Little Wayne would be another track. Uh, six foot, seven foot. Mm, this wouldn't be the set. There's a, a whole new set of stuff that is really catering to bass heads on all levels, so particularly high-end stuff. I'm, I have a new set in my possession that's another one like the Singularity and like the Grand Maestro that is aimed at people that got a big wallet, want quality, and they also, if they hit the switch or they go that way, they want to have a lot of bass and tickle their ears. There's a lot more of those on the horizon and available right now than there ever has been before. This set isn't really like that. This is more of a warmed up Hexa, though I would much take this over the Hexa. Um, I really wasn't a fan of that, but I could see where that would probably be liked, and I think I called that one correctly. I much prefer this one. Um, it's got the bass enough to do pretty much all my library. It's doing some of it better than others. It's doing rock and roll better than it's doing hip hop, but it does all of it um, to a level that I find acceptable. That's first impressions for this set. Again, if you're subscribing, you comment below this video. You can go ahead and get one for yourself. I will do a full video, and in that video, I'll compare it with the Gizaudio Chopin. And also another set that's a uh, 1DD 4BA from a new brand that you might not have heard of. Um, and I'll put those three sets together and I'll do that video for you before 11.11 comes up. We got a lot of videos to do, so that's it. Come on.